So I'm here with Justin Salt. He's a member of the Lower Columbia baseball team. And Justin, you, know, you guys won the championship last year, so obviously the goal is to win it again this year. But what are some things that, that the team is really kind of focusing on here early in the season to, to prepare yourselves for that, that run at the tournament? Uh, taking care of the little things. Um, that's what we take pride on here. Things that you know other teams don't do, such as you know keeping uh, taking good care of the baseball and hard 90s and stuff like that, and just really teaching the freshmen how to you know do how we did it last year. I mean, we had a lot of freshmen last year, and they figured it out this year. So passing it down to the freshmen and you know figuring out how our programs ran is how we uh, do it every year. And then for you personally, I mean, obviously there's things that you always want to work on and build on. Where's things that you're really trying to focus on here in the preseason as you get the season going as well? Uh, last year, I uh, struggled with location of my pitches. Um, and that's one thing I spent over the summer was, you know, getting my mechanics better and working on locating the ball against good competition. And now I'm trying to bring it to this season. Um, when I locate the ball, I, I feel like I dominate. When I don't, um, that's when I get in trouble. So what I've been focused on is locating all pitches, all four of them. I throw, and when I'm doing that, I'm uh, doing really well. Awesome. And then for for players who make it to the college level, you know, it takes people who are pushing you, motivating you. Uh, who is someone in your life that you could look at and say, yeah, they really kind of got me to this point uh, with their help and their their pushing? Uh, my dad, for sure. Um, all throughout, you know, t-ball all the way up to little league and middle school, high school, he was always there taking me down to the warehouse locally at Spokane and. You know, going down multiple times a week to make sure that, you know, if it's hitting or pitching, he's always on me that, you know, hard work isn't just going to help you in the long run. I mean, it's all about putting in the work, so. And for you, you know, a lot of young players, they'll look at uh, professional athletes and kind of want to mimic different th different styles, different mentalities. Is there a player that you kind of followed and kind of say, no, I, I kind of like how they play. I want to be the same type of thing. This is actually a funny question because my favorite player is Derek Jeter, and I always thought I was going to be a professional shortstop, but, uh, that dream ended last year when I became a pitcher only, but no, I really like Derek Jeter because he plays the game hard, and you know, like I said, I want to be a shortstop, but you know, he has a lot of things to take away even though he's not a pitcher. So. And then you know, last question I have for you. At the ballpark, there's always a lot of kids, you know, a lot of younger generation that come up playing. What advice do you have for them as they're trying to achieve you know, kind of the goals you've already made and, and go even further? Uh, that practice makes perfect, and it's not just one thing. I mean, one thing I've realized in college is you need to take care of multiple things, such as nutrition, the weight room, practicing, dry work, everything. And for those that just show up uh, on game day and think they're going to be good, it's tough. So uh, the more you practice and the harder work, the more harder work you put in, the better off you're going to be in the long run. And you just feel better when you come out and uh, put in hard work. So Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.